Um, I would say the way that it was working maybe a couple years ago was that all the brands were like, oh, influencers are great. Let's just throw a bunch of money at them, you know, and they're going to promote our product. Now, there's so many influencers out there that I don't think they're getting as many incoming deals as they used to. The influencers the are influencers. getting as many deals. Um, the managers, I think that big management companies like a CAA or, you know, whoever it is, I think they're having a hard time uh, keeping the social influencers because they're dealing with big, huge actors, movie deals and that type of thing. There's some money to be made in the digital space, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's not... The, the brands, like, think about the people with the budgets, right? That's how you really have to come back to it. Who has the budget? If the budget is some, you know, digital manager in, you know, New York, they're not going to, I mean, unless they have a, a team that's within one of those big agencies, like, they're, they'd rather just spend the money on Facebook. They're not going to call a Hollywood manager and negotiate with them. Or even if, let's say, they have an idea, oh, this would be great for... French Montana or Kevin Hart, they're probably thinking, oh, that would be way out of reach. Like, I'm not even going to call that person. But who knows? I think that what I've realized is that a lot of these celebrities, influencers, especially macro influencers, which I normally work with, mm -hmm. I don't really deal with micro influencers because there's just so many agencies that are, oh, we do, my, you know, we do, yeah. we activate with 100 influencers. And, um, and so I've, t you know, I've more taken, uh, I think the macro ones actually work better anyway. <laughs>